Lovelies, welcome back to another video. So today we are doing another Pesson Owl, the new British chocolate. So this is gonna be part two. The first one I did, can you believe it, was almost a whole year ago. I can't believe that because I remember in the first video being like, yeah, I'm definitely going to do another one. And believe me, this has been on my list for the longest time. I just haven't got around to it. But I was in b and the other day and I was looking at the chocolate and I was like, right now is the time, ladies and gents. I'm seeing so much like, coming out at the moment. Those are different treats for me to try and to be honest, it does give me an excuse to eat chocolate. Which, let's be honest, I don't need an excuse because I eat it every single day of my whole life. But here we are. So if you want to see what's new in the block and what I'm going to rate it, then keep watching. Okay, where to start? Hmm. <laughs> so what, I'm gonna start with this one because this is really, really intriguing me. This is uh, Mars's new chocolate called Pods. Now, I think that this doesn't look that great, if I'm gonna be honest with you. It look, the bomb bit, which is the only new bit to the Mars, it looks a bit dry in my opinion. Let's get straight into this, tuck in. Oh, they definitely look different than the picture, but okay, here we go, let's try it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm going to need another one, I'm going to need another one. Mm-hmm. It's exactly what I thought. It's nowhere near as good as the standard Mars, but it's not awful. I don't think I'd personally get them again, but I am also going to eat the whole bag. I'm going to give that a mid-range. No, this is going to sound really, really harsh. I'm going to give that a mid-range 5.5 out of 10. The caramel is really nice, and the chocolate is really nice, but I don't think that biscuity, whatever it is, layer really, really adds to it but that's just my opinion like you guys might like it oh okay next i'm gonna go for this twirl this is a breakaway mint wafer which i'm really really interested in because the whole point for me of a twirl is the like flaky crumbliness to it do you know what i mean like i just think that's gorgeous like it's either a twirl or a flake but flakes are messier so i always go for twirls this one is a wafer and it's mint flavored That is super minty. Yeah. I know mint is not everyone's cup of tea actually, but I do really, like when I'm in the mood for mint, I'm in the mood for mint, you know what I mean? And it is really, really good. It's tasty, but I think because a twirl is so good and it's so like, the whole point, like I said, of a twirl is the um, like the middle bit. I think they've kind of ruined it with wafer, but I would have this again and it is tasty. Hmm. I'm gonna give that a 6.5. Am I being a bit mean today? I don't know if I'm being a bit mean. Now I'm keeping it realistic. Yeah, 6.5. Okay, we're gonna spice things up. Don't know why it's spicy, but um, apparently we're gonna go with it. And this is a taste chocolate orange bar of biscuits. Now, I don't know whether this is exactly new, because I have seen this for a little while, I believe, but I've never tried it. I suppose it's newish, right? Like, and the fact that it's a bar as well. Oh, this is really cool. Let's see if I can show you a couple. So that's how the bar comes like, that's super cool. Oh, I like that. I don't know why that just makes it fun and exciting. And you know, you, know, you, you get points for stuff like that. But I've never tried Terry's Chocolate Orange with biscuit bits in before. And I think that just sounds divine. I love orange chocolate as well. <laughs> I bit that really weirdly. Mmm, mm mm-hmm, mm-mm, 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 yeah, that's the bum. Do I prefer it? Maybe, maybe, guys. Let's, let's try another one. I might prefer that, actually, than the original Terry Chocolate Orange. I'm going to give that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh, I don't know. The thing is, I'm not really in a chocolatey, orangey mood right now. I'm going to give that an 8.5 out of 10, because that was really, really, really tasty. It deserves it, it deserves a good score. The new Aero chocolate melts. I've been wanting to try these for the longest time. Well, I've been putting off buying chocolate myself. I've just been eating all the chocolate that people give me or like other people's Easter eggs. <laughs> like my boyfriend got, I swear, like 50 million Easter eggs this year and I'm trying to like nibble on his without him realizing. <laughs> oh, like, oh, that one was for me and you, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it was, wasn't it? And then I'm like, eat the whole chocolate egg. So that's why I haven't been buying it for myself, but here we are and we are testing it out today. Aero is one of my favorite chocolates. I think it is so tasty so i've got high hopes for this mm. aero just melts in your mouth mm. yeah turn out chum mm -hmm. don't need to say anymore wow <laughs> i don't want to make too many noises because i don't want this whole video just be me going like mm, yeah it's good <laughs> but that 
Fit it into air, right? Or if you just like, you know, whisper that kind of thing. Get these, because these are the bee's knees. Oh my God, I'm just gonna eat them all. Speaking of whisper, we're trying out this new Whisper bar. Whisper is as well one of my favorites because it's the same sort of chocolate, you know what I mean? With like the fluffy chocolatiness to it. This is a Whisper limited edition, Whisper Gold, the hazelnut flavor. Don't really know what this is gonna taste like. I think I usually prefer the non-gold one, like without the caramel in it. But we're gonna see whether this is gonna be a new favorite. Oh wow, you can taste the hazelnut a lot actually. Mm. Wow, that's so interesting. I'm really shocked at this one. If you like nutty flavored chocolate, try this out. This is really interesting actually. Like you have obviously the normal chocolate, the nuttiness to it and the caramel. That's so strange. That's actually really, really tasty. I'm really shocked. I didn't think I was gonna like this as much. Wow, I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. That's good. That's really, really good. Wow. I don't know why I'm so surprised at just that. Are you ready for last but not least? I feel like I needed to buy more chocolate. I thought this video was going to take longer, but no me. No, I just get through it straight away when it comes to food. But now, hear me out, right? So again, I don't know whether this is new, but this is limited edition. When I first saw this, I kind of just looked at it and looked away because I was like thinking, yeah, we've had these before, right? But then I realized it's not the white chocolate Snickers that I've had, it's the white chocolate lime bars and they look really, really similar. And then I was like, oh my God, I don't think I've ever tried a white chocolate Snickers before. Then Snickers, actually, when I was younger, I was I never opted for them. I didn't think they were good at all. It was always like a classic one that like, if there was any in the house, my dad would have it. You know what I mean? Like in um, celebrations or anything like that. But now that I'm getting older, I do like a Snicker, you know? I really, really rate it. Oh, these are really cute, they're so small. So white chocolate is my favorite chocolate out of milk, dark and white. So I had to get these out. These look so cute. Okay, let's give it a go. Hmm, that's really interesting. I know I say that about everything, but really chewy. So actually the taste is really nice, but the texture, I don't remember it being that, like, that chewy. I think I said to my first one, I feel like in a lot of food, review videos people don't talk about the texture enough but that was really really difficult to eat the taste was nice i felt like the white chocolate was a very um minimalistic like it wasn't like an overpowering um taste of white chocolate because i know sometimes like mckinder bueno which is my favorite or milky bar buttons get the overpowered um white chocolate taste which i like but i know not everyone does like but if you kind of if you like white chocolate but not too much i do recommend this actually um but i kind of expected a little bit more and like i said the texture was just way too chewy for me so i'm probably gonna rate that which is which is a shame because i don't usually really like snickers um i'm gonna rate that a six out of ten okay my lovelies that is it for this video please let me know if you liked part two of trying out british chocolate and of course if you do like these types of videos let me know because i will do a part three a part four part five if you like them i will keep going or if you fancy see me test out some other type of food also let me know i put links down because i've got a taste of the states i've tested out japanese food so I am looking for other things to test out as well. Okay guys, stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.